What's up everybody, it's Rosie here for Astro Photography. Today is Thursday, it's a Wednesday. Today is Wednesday the 9th of January and it feels like about a week since I last got clouded out. And I may get clouded out tonight, but either way, it was clear when I got in. The forecast is rubbish, but it was clear so I've set up and I'm actually shooting a brand new target for myself as part of my 2019 goals. Goal number two is to target fresh and new targets for myself. Starting off with a new target. This target is a, I believe it's a hydrogen alpha nebula, whether or not it's hydrogen alpha, but it's just a quite a big nebula in the constellation, constellation, constellation of Auriga, or Auriga, however you pronounce it. Auriga, 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 Auriga. Now that I've told you it's a nebula and that it's an Auriga, you're probably putting two and two together right now. I'm very cold. The target for tonight is the Flaming Star Nebula IC405. Like I said, it's a brand new target for me. I've only ever shot a couple of the well-known galaxies, one uh, Pinwheel, Bodes, Andromeda. Not very well, because I was younger, newer to the hobby, didn't have guidance, etc. like that. They didn't turn out very well, let's just put it that way. Uh, yeah, so we're shooting this. I've got PhD guidance going, the chart isn't the best thing in the world, but I got told not to get caught up on the chart, and considering that I'm getting decent stars at 500, 500 seconds, that'd be nice. Considering I'm getting st uh, around decent stars, pretty good actually, I've checked them, stars at 300 seconds or 5 minutes, I'm happy about this. I'm very happy about this actually, really happy about this. One issue I'm having is dust on my camera sensor, since I did the complete naked naked sensor modification to my 450D, there's just constantly dust on it. Dust. Dust and more dust. I cleaned the sensor again yesterday. And they're still, it's back to being dusty again. So I'm going to have to take some proper time. Proper time just to try and clean it as well as I can. I even had it up against a light to check it in live view. And it looked fine, but maybe there's something in the camera body. Either way, so my camera is dusty. Flats are going to be in must. And I just hope it doesn't detract from the final image. Fingers crossed, because that would be horrible. I've thought about using my 760D again for astrophotography. One issue is that APT can't control it for whatever reason. It can't connect to my laptop. So APT can't run it which means I can't properly compose on the laptop and I'd have to compose using the back of the screen and I'd have to use a remote shutter, which is, I can do it. I'd just rather use APT, Astro Photography Tool. Let me show with you what I've got going. You first are gonna yell at me because I'm using white light outside. Yes, I am. Because it's the only light that will show this up properly. So that's the ED80 on the Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro up there into Auriga, which this camera lens is not gonna pick that up. More up close with it here, did I actually? No, I haven't got the fridge mag fridge temperature out here, fair enough. Yeah, that's the offending hub, which immediately broke, so I can't use my dew heaters. I need to sort out the cable management still. It looks like someone's actually in that window, doesn't it? Honestly, it's actually rather a nice night. Wind chill is a bit of a thing, but you know, I'll be inside soon. Here's what I've got going at the minute. You can immediately see the dust that's on the sensor. I don't honestly think that's gonna buff out, let's say, with flats, and that's gonna annoy me. But you can see just a little detail appearing. These are five minute, five minute subs. Exposure 4 of 12 of 300 second subs. And it's still looking good. So, the grams are actually respectable also. Not completely on the left. Yeah, that's what we've got going at the moment. I just pray about that dust, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Just another part of the learning curve. It's time to cook dinner. I'm hungry and I'm cold. Okay, update. It is now 10 to 11. It is 
minus one outside if my fridge thermometer is to be relieved. Uh, I've been having to fight quite a lot trying to get it uh, composed properly has been difficult for some reason. Uh, sometimes I just don't know which way is left, right, up and down on APT. I was able to do the Meridian flip. So now we're imaging on the new side of the horizon of the Meridian. It clouded over. So I shot my darks while it was cloudy and ate my dinner. <laughs> now it's got crystal clear. It's really good out there. But the USB hub I have on my telescope to power my dew bands, that broke. Yeah, that broke. So I lost my dew heat. I had Velcroed onto a mount. That failed. So then I lost guiding and my two dew bands. So I was able to sort the guiding out with a USB extension, <clears throat> but I didn't have any dew heaters. And then my main scopes objective naturally started dewing up. But with the dew bands I got, they came two quite small USB adapters that had a male and a female end. So I put those together, plugged it into the laptop, and tried the jury rigger, an impromptu extension. We'll see how it goes. But I'm hoping if I can, get like at least another half an hour, maybe an hour, if possible, that'd be ideal. So hopefully I can get another half an hour, maybe an hour would be nice. I can't wait to edit it. I put I put a uh, I put a raw frame up onto my Instagram and onto my Twitter. So that's that. There's there's a lot of there's something on my sensor, and like I said, I hope the flats can get rid of it, or else I'll be really miffed. But now I think I'm going to turn the camera off, just focus on the night sky, and then go get go bed. I'll see you tomorrow. There's something really rather pleasant about just being sat outside sometimes. It's freezing cold as it is. And I must admit right now I can't see anything because of that light. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep this brief. It's about midnight now. We should be going to bed. But I've nearly got about two hours of flaming star. It's quite addictive. <laughs> Just gonna relax a bit more out here, I think. Drink some green tea. Just enjoy the noise of the mount and enjoy this night sky. I mean, I don't know why I'm doing that. That's purely for purely for effect. Because, like I said, I'm currently night blind right now. Time to enjoy the northern hemisphere as much as I can and shoot as many northern targets as I can. That said, the Flaming Star Nebula isn't just a northern target, I don't believe. I think Auriga goes to the southern hemisphere as well. I think I want to shoot the, go and shoot the Heart Nebula at some point as well. But it doesn't exactly fit nicely into my field of view. There's always a way. I think it's like minus two or minus three right now. The jury rigged to do heaters is working. Relax.